this year is Ben with Taprec Blog. I've got Zach with Taprec Blog here with me. Uh, Zach just finished up Rifleman 1. Uh, Zach, do you have any thoughts on that? It was a great class. Um, hard. My body still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a pretty cool picture of you, like, leaking all over the place out of, you know, yeah. knees and elbows and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Highly suggest elbow pads and knee pads next time. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, go ahead and tell me about the rifle that uh, you took through it. Well, I was using an LWRC M6 IC. Um, just running a basic Spark AR from Vortex. And what kind no of light issues. do you have on that? Uh, it's an Enforce WML. Fun stuff. Ran great too. So, uh, how many rounds does this rifle have through it, and how did it run? Rounds through it, probably 3,500 to 4,000. How many rounds in between cleaning? About 2,000 to 2,500, somewhere in there. Hmm. And I didn't clean it at all in the class. It's a two-day course, you didn't clean it in between classes? That's supposed to be a nickel boron bolt. <laughs> it's kind of black. If you... I'm going to rub on that a little bit so you can kind of see. It changes color yeah. when you rub on it. <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. So, so we've got that going on. Um... What can we tell about this gun in optic from uh, what happened in the course? It works, unlike the budget ARs that were at the course. And what happened with the budget ARs at the course? People always, like, they call me like a weapon Nazi and everything else, and <laughs> they're like, Oh, you're just hating on my gun! And I'm like, well, look, I'm trying to be nice, but, but there is a reason that people spend this kind of money on guns. Yeah, yeah. The budget builds, the budget ARs, didn't really work too well. We had quite a few go down. It was not a good class for ARs. Um, Chris and everybody were happy to see AKs keep going, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, how much trouble did you have out of this gun? I had a handful of either failure to feed, failure to fire, something I honestly didn't even hardly notice. Tap rack bang and it was working again. All right, and That's um, probably crappy mags. Yeah, well, you know, what are you gonna do? Yes, I ran Tapco and Thermal to get over it. <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> I don't care. You are definitely brave. I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering what this would have done if you would have fed it P mags or what. I mean, I ran P mags too. Gotcha. And. Great mag carrier from Jake with Kentucky Kydex. Little throw shout out in there. You know, speaking of gear, this is actually something new and upcoming that we have uh, that is going to be uh, new on Taprack Blog. We are going to be starting essentially a document that is going to be an updatable document. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to continually update this document with gear that we actually know works. So when people say, hey, um, I'm looking to buy a pistol or I'm looking to buy a rifle or shotgun or what mag should I run through my Glock or what training should I go take like we don't have to keep repeating ourselves because like I love you guys to death but but sometimes I sound like a broken record because I keep getting the same questions over and over I know Zach and Kurt and you know the other admins um, they're, they're we're really we don't mind sharing the knowledge but at the same time, we want to continually move on to, to better things. And so we're going to have a document that, that essentially is approved training, approved gear, holsters, mags, um, and it's going to answer the vast, vast majority of questions that people have. And uh, I really think that that's going to be a good thing. So look for that uh, coming very, very, very soon. In the format that we're going to be using for that is is we're going to be letting people know how long we've used the gear and how long it's continually worked. So we're going to have a piece of gear, and if the gear is in the list, it is it is an approved piece of gear for what that's worth. But we're also going to you know put in things like how long we've used it, how many rounds we have through it, uh, and things like that. So that's going to be cool. And uh, if your piece of gear does not make it on there. Um, one thing that I want to tell people is, you know, if, if, if some of the gear that you carry is not on there, uh, then that's okay. Um, this is not a comprehensive list. We are not going to have every single piece of gear that works, but there are some pieces of gear that we may or may not put on there. 
uh, and, and we do and we do so for a certain reason uh, because sometimes like you can get uh, you can get some really good hex mags that work right I saw some guys running hex mags at right. the class and and they ran great yeah. like sometimes when you buy hex mags they don't work um, same with your independence ammo I ran independence yeah. I ran a thousand rounds of independence didn't have an issue but there's always that there's always that you know sometimes XYZ manufacturers work sometimes XYZ manufacturers don't work um, so what we're going to be doing is trying to provide you a list of gear that out of the box we're, we're expecting to work and we would be shocked if it didn't. So um, that's going to be uh, something that's going to be coming up soon. This has been with Taprak Blog. This is Zach with Taprak Blog. And we will post something else for you soon. Thanks guys.